Hey, what's up guys? Mitchell Black here with StrongSide. So what I want to do today is we get this question a lot. I want to review some uh, shoes for you guys. So what I have out here is a wide collection of uh, some Nike Metcons. I'm a huge Nike Metcon fan. And uh, I'm gonna explain to you why I think they're the best and which one you should get. So first off, um, like I said, my name is Mitchell Black. I own a gym called StrongSide. And uh, we do a lot of stuff, dude, a whole lot of stuff. We do Olympic weightlifting, metabolic conditioning, gymnastics, body weight movements, all kinds of stuff. And you might not do one type of training, you might do multiple types of training. And you're looking for like that cross trainer shoe or a lot of people are joining our gym and they're like, they start, you know, they start squatting, but they're still wearing their old running shoes and they're like, what shoe should I get? What shoe works for me? What's a shoe that I can do really anything in? You know, I can run a little bit, I can, I can lift, I can jump on a box and you know, great, all right, cool. So since we get that question that often, I wanna take care of you and I wanna help you out. <clears throat> so notice that I have all Nike Metcons out here. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to give you uh, some old ones, some newer ones, and show you that I like wear these things. I wear them every single day. So I coach nine to 11 hours every single day. Love every minute of it. I'm on my feet all day long in these Metcons. I work out in them, I train in them. Um, I beat them up all the time. I climb ropes in them, row in them, lift in them, snatch in them, squat in them. It doesn't even matter, burpees in them, whatever. And um, so there's that, all right? The only real reason that I have three different pairs out here is to show you that I didn't just like buy one pair just to be like, oh, I'll get this. I wear them all the time and I love them and I've done them for years. I've worn the Reebok Nanos, I've worn the Innovates, I've worn everything. Um, you know, I've worn all the high arch stuff, the low arch stuff, I've had clients in it. And look, myself, and nearly every single one of our clients uh, wears this Nike Metcon. It's so funny because at our gym, uh, everybody's like, Team Nike. And, uh, and we used to all wear the Reebok stuff, the Innovates, and now we're just all Team Nike. So here's, here's what I'll share with you. So these are the newest ones. These are the Metcon 4s. Uh, and this is actually my favorite one. Like I, I think I have some 3s and 2s out here. I've had them ever since they came out. Um, but these are my favorite ones. And uh, it's really just because it holds up. So look, you're going to spend 120 130 bucks on a shoe. Uh, you want that thing to hold up, right? Like you can't control the cost. They're all going to cost that much. Um, but what I mean by hold up, you'll notice that on the bottom, see like all this stuff through here? If we climb ropes, they don't tear up. And you might be thinking, oh, well, I don't climb ropes. Think about the tension on your shoe. Um, whether you're running or jumping on a box or running on a treadmill or even if you're squatting, all that's tension. So if this shoe can hold up in a rope climb, think about how easy it's gonna hold up in everything else, like a box jump, right? Or stepping on a box or walking around or, or whatever your version of intensity is. That shoe's gonna hold up a very long time. I find that the cushion doesn't uh, mush down. I'll notice a lot with other shoes that I'll start to squat and over time after squatting or snatching or cleaning or deadlifting or whatever we're doing, it's like the bottom of the shoe gets real flat. It gets real flat and worn out. I don't really get any support from it. And I feel like I'm almost wearing a clown shoe because it spaces out. I don't get that with this. I constantly feel like every time that I have this on, it's like a brand new shoe every single time. I also like that the toe box is much tighter. Um, I shouldn't say much tighter, but I feel more snug. You know, when I wore the Nanos, one thing that I always complained about was that I always felt like I was wearing a clown shoe, that it always held me real tight in the heel, and then it like ballooned up by the toe, and I never liked that. And I had the Nanos uh, two, three, and four, right? Um, even the fives too, but I just didn't feel like they did that for me. And I feel like all the Nike Metcons have done that. All the Nike Metcons hold up amazing, and I always feel like I'm wearing a new shoe and it hugs my toe really tight. I get it. It's not a running shoe. Like I get like I've done Ironman triathlon, I've run marathons. Like I'm not gonna wear this to run a marathon, but I'm gonna wear this to do Murph. I'm gonna wear this to, you know, do Nancy. Uh, like I'll wear the same this same Nike Metcon doing Nancy and the same Nike Metcon doing Karen and Isabel or just anything that I'm doing, right? Like I want this shoe all the time. The sickest thing, I love this stuff. On the back right here is this glide to do handstand push-ups. I know myself and a lot of athletes before this came out, we would put duct tape on the back of our shoes uh, when we were doing a bunch of handstand push-ups so the shoe would glide up against the wall. Some people do it barefoot. That was a huge win. That was a huge win across the board to be able to slide up and down the wall with no breaks or anything like that. Um, 
But you know, at the end of the day, I beat this shoe up. I beat it up, I bend it, I flex it. And not only can it hold up, but it looks new all the time. I mean, this shoe is fairly beaten up and it looks new. It has all this mesh guiding across the front so it's not getting beat up when I'm slamming stuff on it or, or doing whatever I'm doing with it. Um, but there's that. I think that if you're looking for a wide, uh, a shoe that gives you wide variety, um, you know, I'm doing more than just sitting on a machine, right? I'm running, I'm jumping, I'm doing double unders or single unders or, you know, like whatever you're doing. This Nike Metcon for me has held up for years. Uh, it's it, uh, like, uh, I've, I've stayed with the same shoe forever. I think it's given a lot of value to all of our athletes. I think that our athletes have been able to squat and do something dynamic like wall balls or a snatch or a box jump or a rope climb and it doesn't wear out. You'll notice a lot of times people climb ropes and the bottom of their shoe gets worn out and stuff. And again, I know I keep talking about rope climbs, but I want you to think about how severe the damage of a rope climb would be to your shoe. And if people who are climbing ropes are not having any issues with their shoes, I, even if you're not climbing ropes, the shoe's gonna hold up for you longer. It gives you a lot more support, it holds your foot, it makes you feel stable. And especially in the squat or the overhead squat or something that requires a lot of stability, I don't wobble around. That was actually the first thing I noticed about this shoe. So side note, the first thing I noticed about this shoe was I was able to do full lifts and I didn't have to go to like a weightlifting shoe. And I felt amazing in it. And uh, there was no instability and stuff. So I've loved it. So long story short, Nike Metcon. I've put the link to it below. Um, you can click on uh, the link and get you a pair of these or whatever. And it just makes it real simple for you. Uh, like I said, we get that question all the time at Strong Side. So um, yeah, click the link below, pick you up some Metcons. Ooh, I would recommend getting a half size smaller than what you typically wear. All right, so uh, like I typically wear like a 10 and a half, so I usually get a 10, and it holds my foot a little bit uh, tighter. Again, might not work for everybody, but I would recommend doing that. All right, so I hope you like that. Pick up some Nike Metcons.